Hey, what's going on, guys? Sean DJ here, and I just got back from cross practice. So sorry if I'm a little bit out of it. And also, um, I lost my voice over the weekend, so that's kind of why my voice sounds like this. So, this is Fallout 4, as most of you will know. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so I've already beat the game one way, the Brotherhood of Steel, so I'm going to start a whole new game for you guys. I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes, so don't worry about that, and uh, it'll be a fun ride. I really like this game. Now, one thing about this game that I'm going to mention beforehand is there is alcohol, drug use, and a lot of violence. And some language. So, younger audiences steer clear of this video. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to be the one using it. It's going to be this game. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I can't sit that out right now. Um, I only have my TV. Or, sorry, my PlayStation 4. So, I don't know how to do that yet. So, but it'll get better. I'm going to hopefully be able to keep, like, either two episodes of two games a day. Or... And it'll at least be one. Sometimes I might throw in like a third freebie, like a small little game. So here we go. War. War never changes. Hold up. Oh no, I don't want to skip it. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather serving in the army wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen he got his wish when the u.s ended world war ii by dropping atomic bombs on hiroshima and nagasaki the world awaited armageddon instead Something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. That's one of like the most famous quotes in this game. War oh. never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall. Oh, uh, can I just get like an, an egg? egg, please? Two eggs? Absolutely. Now get ready yes, and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Running. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Think I'm gonna go with this dude. Alright, so. Let's change up that hair. Um. Let's see, which one should I do? Creeper, go, 
come over, creeper. Oh, those are pretty much the same. Um, midlifer, really? Hombre. Oh. And then the boot camp. It's all the way at the bottom. Beatnik, garage band, running, top knot, colonel, alpha male, pompadour. I'm I'm legit thinking about going with that. Casual camped, but. Go with a nine to five look, why not? Hey. Did you get a haircut yesterday? It's cute. Um, th thank thank you, honey. Alright, uh where is oh, I wanna change the color. I think everything else is like pretty fine. Oh yeah, triangle color. Let's go with a blue. Like mine. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Yep. All right. And uh, I'll keep the little gin air. All right. Now then, let's go with body. Let's make me more like myself in real life. Just like I'm more around, not very large, but I'm thin and muscular. I mean, for for me, for me. Alright, um, I'm really sorry about my voice. I'm so sorry. I feel like this is, like, terrible to watch, the audio quality. So, uh, if you want to, you can just mute it. Um, let's get off of that thin side. Let's get, like, right here. That's good. Alright. Alright. Um, I think that's good. Sweet. I might do two episodes for the first day. We will see when the time comes. Alright, I forget my way around the house. But, but, oh, activate. Good old USA. Yep. Ooh, America. Ah, broken again. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean. I didn't know that. Would turn it off. Well, I mean, I guess. I should figure it's a radio. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. And today is, that, is it just me or is that like really hot? Do I... Oh. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, okay, so like actual babies. Okay, good. Uh, I was like, um... Mm. More the same. Alright, so what is that same exact... So what is that same exactly? The Batman. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good Yo. at this one. The Batman. So what do I do now? Hun. Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? <laughs> Guessing I gotta go. Whoa. Yep. There he is, right on time. Can you get that? There we it's go. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning. vault -Tec calling. I'm really sorry that I'm not talking that much. I'm just sort of tired. All right. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't I begin to ask how about happy it. I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure yes, you. Sir. 
Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. I Trying don't think being it was. A, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sorry if I like have to talk like that. Um. I don't have my own house yet, and I don't really have a sis like given recording time, so you guys will have to deal with that. Sounds great. Sorry oh, about that. It is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. All right. So, okay, so I have to have at least one everywhere. So first I gotta put my name. I will put for the purpose of this recording, Schulte J. Hmm. There we go. Um, actually, though, I do need to put a lot into that, and then I might just distribute it evenly throughout the rest, to an extent. And then I'm going to put some into luck, one into intelligence. Oh, God, I forgot I had a mic. All right. There we go. Wonderful. It's good. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the He's future. So shady. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Yeah. yeah. For you and Sean, no price is too high. All right. <laughs> good answer. I have my moments. I have a good answer. Anyway, sir. Sir, Sean has been. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, hey, sorry about that. Excuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. All right, move. What's up, Sean, buddy? You heard God's way. Go on. It's okay, bud. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. Fine, he like you. That. What? No, I'm just kidding. All right, sweet. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, hey, she even he said yeah. You should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? I hate this park. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, God. sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. I hate, I hate this part. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. 